Welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the HIS HD 5550 and the HD 5570 Silence 512 Megabyte GDDR5 video cards. Both of these video cards include an installation guide, software and drivers, as well as a 10% off coupon for Battlefield Bad Company 2 game. But the 5550 video card also includes a 50% off coupon for Total Media Theater 3 software. Both of these video cards have a PCI Express interface of 2.1 and are based on the Redwood Core which is built on the 40 nanometer manufacturing process and has 627 million transistors. They both have passive cooling, meaning that they only include a heatsink and not the fan. And this means that these video cards are perfect for silent computer builds like for example home theater PCs. The 5550 video card has a DVI connection, HDMI connection, and a VGA connection. While the 5570 video card has a DVI connection, HDMI connection, as well as a DisplayPort connection. Note that these video cards do not have a hardware crossfire bridge, nor do they have any power connections. The power consumption for both is 39 watts at maximum load and 10 watts at idle, so a high wattage power supply is not required. The core speed on the 5550 is 550 megahertz, and the 512 megabytes of GDDR5 128-bit memory is 4 gigahertz DDR. It comes with 320 stream processing units for vertex, pixel, and geometry data, 16 texture units, and 8 raster operations. The pixel fill rate is 4.4 gigapixels per second. The texture fill rate is 8.8 .8 gigatexels per second, and the memory bandwidth is 64 gigabytes per second. The core speed on the 55 70 is 650 megahertz and the 512 megabytes of GDDR5 128 bit memory is 4 gigahertz DDR. It comes with 400 stream processing units for vertex pixel and geometry data, 20 texture units and 8 raster operations. The pixel fill rate is 5.2 gigapixels per second. The texture fill rate is 13 gigatexels per second and the memory bandwidth is 64 gigabytes per second. These video cards have too many technologies to cover in detail in this video, but let me cover the main ones. It has TerraScale 2 unified processing architecture for physics. Image quality enhancement allows sharper scenes. Stream acceleration technology to run applications faster. Crossfire X multi GPU technology allows dual, triple, and quad GPU scaling and power play power management technology, which enables low power consumption at idle. It also has Ifinity technology, which enables many displays to be connected at once. For example, Three displays can be connected simultaneously and each display can have a resolution up to 2560 by 1600, which is an incredible amount of desktop real estate. While the other technologies are impressive, DirectX 11 really stands out, especially amongst gamers. This image clearly shows the difference between DirectX 10 and DirectX 11. DirectX 11 allows more eye candy because it gives game developers the tools required to produce mind-blowing graphics, effects, and much more. Additionally, a Vivo HD video and display technology enables superior quality and a high-definition visual experience.
If you're in the market for a video card and it has to be silent, in other words, you want to have a decent video card for a silent computer build, but you also want to do a little bit of gaming, well, these video cards would be perfect for that. Now remember, when it comes to gaming and hardcore gaming, these video cards are what you would call budget. But for anybody looking for a silent video card, well, these are very acceptable products. They come with all kinds of technologies and so on and so forth. But really, when it comes to gaming, they are not going to perform that well as you have seen from the performance results. But overall, these are great products. Until next time, take care.